The Bergisches Land is a low mountain range in the German state of North Rhine-Westphalia. It is part of the Rhinish Slate Mountains and shaped by forests, verdant meadows and valleys. Towering over the countryside is the Baroque Castle. In the villages, there are still timber-framed and slate-fronted houses and the famous Bergisches afternoon coffee spread with its sweet and savory offerings. Martin Turnus took over the apple orchard from his father. He dedicates himself to preserving old varieties of apple. When the apples are ripe, the whole family gets together and it's like a big celebration. Martin's wife Manuela is making the most of her maternity leave to pursue her passion for cooking. I still learn new recipes, like the tasty apple juice cream that we even make from the juice of our own apples. In early October, the apple harvest is in full swing on the family orchard. Every year, the whole family gets together to help. Martin Turnis works at the bank. The orchards are his hobby. He has a hundred apple trees, all bringing forth old varieties that you can't find in the supermarket. Only the apples that are used to make juice can be shaken from the tree, as it doesn't matter if they're bruised. The other ones are picked by hand. We have 16 different varieties. Typical of the Bergisches Land are the double and simple Luxemburger, the Kaiser Wilhelm and the Bornapfel, not to forget the Bergische Schaffsnase. The Swabian Alb is a plateau in southern Germany. It's the highest part of the foothills of the Jura Mountains. Despite its rocky ground, the Swabians make the most out of the soil. One plant really flourishes here, the lentil. Alongside the Alb lentil, the area is well known for its Laugenbrezeln and Mautaschen. Spätzler and lentils are the Swabian national dish. Franz Häusler is an organic farmer. He started farming the Alb lentil several years ago. The lentil is so a bit like Schwabe, so tüftelig and Ingrid Häusler takes care of the farmhouse, which even has its own bakery. She's a farmer through and through. I have a great joy to make things cook and bake. Yeah, it's just naheliegend. Around 50 years ago, when agriculture became more industrialized, growing lentils dropped in popularity on the Alb. It's only a few years ago that the original seeds were found once again at the Vavilov Seed Bank in St. Petersburg. The local farmers were given a handful, and it's from these that over 200 hectares are under cultivation today. We vermeiden Zukäufe von außen und versuchen unsere eigene Kreisläufe zu schließen, so weit als möglich, um möglich autark Landwirtschaft zu betreiben. It's the holidays, and the girls don't want to spend all of their time working on the farm. They've gone for a canoe ride on the river Lauter. The Lauter Valley is considered to be the pearl of the Swabian Alb and attracts a whole host of tourists. Petra and Karsten Dickel live in the rural north of Hessen, in an area called Schwal. It's important to Petra that she passes on local traditions to her children. Petra works in her parents' pottery workshop. The family produces local Schwan ceramics and jewelry. Her father, Peter Erbe, is not a local, but from the capital, Berlin. Gudrun Erbe was born here in Willingshausen and is passionate about her town. My town is really unique in its own way. 
Das habe ich mal irgendwo in einem Buch gelesen, habe ich gedacht, jo, hast du genau auf den Punkt getroffen. On Whit Sunday, the Erbe family invites artists and craftspeople to their farmhouse and hosts a large fair. Schwalm is a rural area in the north of the Hessen region in southeastern Germany. The little river Schwalm gives the area its name. It's always been traditional farming country. At the turn of the 19th century, pastoral scenes fascinated the art world. Many artists moved here and a painter's colony was founded. The museum in Willingshausen is dedicated to the first artists that settled here. The traditional Tracht clothing was always a popular motif. Schwalen cooking is simple and hearty. One of the specialties is the Aale Wurst, an air-dried sausage made from pork. As the oldest painter colony in Germany, Willingshausen is a well-known town. Even today, locals are proud of its heritage. The Shepherd's Cottage is one of the oldest buildings in the village. It was built over 450 years ago. Reinhold, der Kratzputz ist ja noch ganz schön, der ist in Ordnung. Aber guck mal, der Hörte, ja. der müsste mal ausgebessert werden. Da müsste was gemacht werden. Ja. The patterns are engraved into the outside walls, an old craft method. Young artists live in the house. It's part of a scholarship scheme that allows them to reside there for several months and paint, keeping the artistic tradition alive in Schwan. Schön. Sieht gut aus, ja. Sehr schön. Petra is making use of the afternoon to get some work done. She's decorating the clay crockery with a mixture made of minerals and water. Peter is a trained sign painter. He's been running the pottery workshop here for over 35 years. As ceramics are used less and less for everyday purposes, the family have started to diversify and make jewelry as well. This is where she sells the pieces. It's a new venture and Petra is enjoying the challenge. It's also proving a valuable source of income. This is also a hingucker through these hellen perlen and the two roten. The Schwalmien Tracht has disappeared from the everyday, but is still well known and recognized throughout Germany. One of their neighbors collects the traditional clothing pieces. Just putting them on is something one has to learn, and the girls need a lot of help with this. Die Röcke, die sind jetzt wie alt? Die Röcke, denke ich. Denk mal, dass die 120 Jahre alt sind. 120? Okay. 1994 ausstellt. 1800. So, ich mach jetzt erstmal. Ein Gas. Das ist ja Blüten. Das ist auch genau so alt. Genau. Sehr gut. The Harz Mountains is a low mountain range known for its narrow gauge railway and the Brocken, the highest mountain in Germany's north. The red highland cattle graze on the pastures. A culinary celebrity is the Harz cheese with its unmistakable aroma. Uwe Thielecke and his family rear the Harz Highland cattle. Susanne Thielecke likes to cook with regional ingredients, like the meadow herbs growing on her doorstep. The daughters, Julia and Sarah, return to the family farm after their studies. The Thielecke family lives in Tanne, a small town in the Upper Harz. The village used to be secluded as it lay along the German-German border but now hiking trails lead over from the east to the west and west to east.
Summertime is carving time. Julia checks the herd every morning. She has to find the newborn calves in time or they become too strong to let her mark them. Südpfalz, the southern Rhineland Palatinate, lies on the very southeastern tip of the Rhineland Palatinate. The plentiful sunshine and mild climate allows the region's vineyards and orchards to thrive. The fertile soil is perfect for farming vegetables and the potato, known locally as the Grumbier. Potato makes up the heart of Pfalz cuisine. Grumbiersoup, potato soup, is served with plum cake, Quetschekuche. The Tarte Flambe from neighboring France is almost considered as being local. The Schossberg family farm lies outside of the town of Minfeld. Three generations are busy growing and caring for the vegetables on the large estate. The family started farming with maize and sugar beets. Now, Michael Gors has converted to organic farming, so weeding has become a large part of the job. In August, the last of the new potatoes are harvested. Father and son prefer to do this without the help of the city harvesters. People in the Falz take their potatoes very seriously and even have their own nickname for them, the Kumbia. When it comes to the harvester, Tim is in charge. <laughs> With the button, I tell him whether he should stop or carry on. When I press the button, he stops. <laughs> Michael has invited the Solawi group for a wagon tour. Out of the town and into the fields. First stop, the pumpkin fields. It's always exciting. Some are a little scared to go in. The pumpkins can be a bit prickly for those who are wearing shorts. But they're being brave. They're coming. For Michael, there's barely any difference between being a farmer and an artist. It's like farming. You have to juggle and balance. Why? That's the way it is. 